Hey coach, in this practice what I've done is put together four boxes, a different exercise in each box. Um, emphasis on social distancing for the most part, no contact in box one, we've got agility runs. Box two, we've got 2v1, just with a defender containing, uh, no, no real pressurizing trying to win the ball. Box three, we've got uh, three players with two balls, which is a speed of play. And box four, we've got players alternating on uh, turning with the ball. It's a two minutes each circuit. We've got four circuits, so it's a little over eight minutes uh, for the players. It's a great way to start the practice off and get a lot of touches on the ball and work on different techniques. Listen, try it with your players. Drop me an email and let me know how your kids did. Once again, thanks for watching Soccer Coach TV. I hope you enjoy the drill. Okay, listen up guys. Hey, listen up. Let me have your attention. How do we listen? How do we listen? With your eyes, okay? Always remember that. Listen, there's a grid here. We've got four squares and within each square there's an exercise, a technical exercise or a physical exercise in one square. You're going to go for two minutes, okay? I'm not too concerned about the two minutes. I'm concerned about the quality of those two minutes, right? So we spoke about the last practice session. Everything you do is going to show up on a Saturday in a 90 minute match. And that holds true for if you work hard and you go the extra mile and you pay attention to quality, it may not show up straight away, but I promise you this, as long as I've coached football, it's going to show up eventually. You're going to be a good player eventually. If you take shortcuts, if you're lazy, if you're not concerned about the quality, I promise you this, it will show up eventually. So what you do every time you step in there with a the ball is going to show three weeks, three months, three years from now. Good or bad, your choice, okay? So listen, come over here, let me show you the first exercise that you do for two minutes. Cone. And sprint back, okay, bang, to here. Second cone, sprint back, go, quickly. And sprint, what are we focusing on we turn? The accelerator. Out. Turn tall, turn small. Okay, don't turn tall, turn small. The smaller you are when you turn, the more explosive you'll come out. Third run, off you go to that one, around the outside. Not Dylan there. Psst, there you go. Here, son. There you go. Back again, round the outside. Round the outside. Just reverse the run. Come on, son. And your last one to here. All around the outside again. Off you go. Bang. So we're taking sharp turns at angles, right angles. Bang. Turn around. Back. Off you go. When he hits that line, Marcello, bang, you're gone. Okay. So hey, you're working at a ratio. You're working one, you're resting two. Okay. Go now, you're up first. To here. When you get here, turn any way that you want. You can do, you can do a spin in here if you want. Get down here. You can in behind you can turn you can do a chop with the outside of the foot but it's just a rapid turn okay imagine in a game defenders closing you down he's coming in come on he's coming in for a tackle trying to win that ball turn and you're gone escape but can you keep it in tight areas let me see you again go quickly move it inside of the foot inside quickly boom, boom. now get a tempo going get a tempo going talk to each other demand it demand it change direction change direction quickly change direction bang 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 you got that guys you're just going to pressure the player not to win it play it back pressure me yeah play it back Play it back, after about five or six, drop off to the starting position, go. I'm gonna give you the ball, and who's the pressurizing player? Me now. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna press and press, yeah. after about five or six, okay. Bang, Leland, give Leland the ball, stay on, your, stay on, your, uh, stay on that line, stay on that line. Um, now Leland playing in there, now you pressure them both. Okay, swap the ball, bit of pressure on both. You got it guys, yes or no? Yeah, yeah. Let's give that best, let's go, come on. Yeah. Let's work hard now, we've had a little break. Hey, give me eight minutes. Good eight minutes, okay? Good eight.
long. Well done, boys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big clap. Let's go. Last one's the best one. Let's go, boys. Last one. To hear you inspire your teammate. Listen. You own your own performance, but you also own the team's record and the team's performance. So listen, you're relying on this guy and you're relying on that guy to have a common goal at the same results. So why not encourage him to be the best he can? Because you know if it happens, he's going to encourage you. Understand that? And when you've got a whole club encouraging each other, it's amazing what you can accomplish. Go, two minutes, let's go. Encourage him. Good, love it, love it. It's getting much better, much better. Come on, Dylan, good work. Love the attitude. Boys, boys, come on, tell him he's doing good. Come on, encourage him. Don't you want players around you who are positive, who are always telling you to a little bit more? There you go, there you go. But be, be natural about it, be natural about it. Off you go. Andrew, I don't know where you go. You just stay over there. Sort it out. Drop off, drop off, drop off. You're too flat. Yeah, move, move a triangle. There you go. Keep the play in front. That's all you're doing. All you're doing. All you're doing. Now drop off, drop off, drop off. Hey, 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 hey. Go, go, go. In the, now, come on. Now you're playing. Go. Who's turn is it? Quickly. Yes. Keep it wide. Keep the last minute. Critical minute in the game, isn't it? How many games have been lost in the last minute? Wow, wow. Phenomenal amount of games in the last minute. You all can relate your own personal experience, right? You're up one nil, <sighs> bang, last minute. Hey, in my coaching career, I can think of three games where we lost in the last second of the game. The last second, I had already shook the coach's hand and told him he had a good team. They tied it up in the last second and beat us in overtime. But the importance of the last second, because what happens near the end of the game? You get tired. What happens when you get tired? Mental fatigue. Mentally, you start to get drained, right? Your focus, your concentration level goes. What else happens when you start to get tired? What, what, what happens mentally, but when you're tired, what else? Tactical and technical ability go down. Physically, yeah. Mistake. Technical ability. You physically, your legs are heavy, all right? You're more, you're more susceptible to injuries, maybe, near the end of the game. So there's a lot of things, you've got to be on your game. And that's when you've got to be at your strongest. It's like those sprinters. When you see them sprint 100 meters, that last five yards, they're bang, they're off. They're just, they've got an extra bit in the tank. The last minute here, what I was looking for, effort was there, great. But I want to see more of you be the players who drive people on in those last minutes in the game. He's got it. Hey, we're winning one nil, and it's five minutes on the clock. I, I know I'm going to hear him every second because I hear him all the time in the game. We need those kind of players. You can be that, believe me. You can be the player you are and contribute to the team, or you can add another dimension to your game and you can be the better player, okay? Give yourself a clap, get a drink. Guys, go over there, and then we're going to split up into two teams, and we're going to scrimmage, okay? For more great drills, visit soccerclinics.com the world's largest coaching website. Soccer Coach TV, where coaches live.